Hello and welcome back to Phoenix Point. So, the team is a little tired and uh, a little banged up, so this is a scavenging site. And maybe we should just try out the scan. I'm not sure why I'm holding on to it, but I think we should just run it, so... Area scan. Is that it? Hopefully that's not it. Oh, we're doing the area scan, right? Can we move away? While the area scan is happening? Mevites, I don't know, we shall see. Uh, we need to go back to base a little bit to heal. And also, we have enough food to buy the recruits. Okay, the scan is happening. Do we actually need to be there to initiate the area scan? It seems to be, that is the case. Uh, Haven info. We can raid them, but let's just get a soldier. 390, Bernando, Director O'Higgins. He's a ranger. Let's get him. Is that it? <laughs> we got him now? Good question is, does he come with gear? No! <laughs> He's fucking useless. Holy shit. So losing soldiers is massive. Not only they cost 400 food at least. I mean, basing it on the first guy now. But also we need to get re uh, armor, a weapon... And supplies for him. Oh man. So he is uh, a ranger. Well, assault. Okay, look at the body armors. So this one is the tanky one, but reduces your stealth, accuracy. That matters. Uh, weight is the carry weight. I mean, this kind of matters a lot. Wait. Using the sniper helmet that actually increases your accuracy. But the thing is, keep in mind, extra accuracy doesn't really matter as long as you can hit the target. As long as you can make the shot, it doesn't matter. But definitely we need to make some gear. Also, we should keep the cost in mind, but it seems to be uh, not relevant. The Banshee helmet is the most expensive one. Perception? Oh, that's line of sight, right? This drops the line of sight. That's the heavy helmet. And uh, the Odin helmet actually uh, doesn't affect it. Uh, let's look at the Banshee helmet. Gives you 10 accuracy. It, it makes shooting you in the head uh, quite deadly. But Perception 5 could be very good for a spotter ranger. So we might just go for Banshee helmet. It's a sniper helmet, but can't. I think we can use it. Oh my god, it's gonna tw take 20 hours to make one. What about the legs? Uh, that's not super important, I feel like. We can get Odin legs, that gives us speed. Accuracy is nice. So this one actually sacrifices even less armor. But hitting legs is a lot easier, so... Let's go Odin leg armor, and Odin body armor, that gives us speed. The Banshee body armor actually reduces speed, adds stealth, adds accuracy. Right, let's go with... It's gonna be Odin Odin Banshee. Uh, again, I mean, Odin 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 could be a okay choice too. Also, we can consider maybe a, a Golem helmet. This doesn't reduce speed. So if we just want... To get close to the enemy, then I guess the Golem Helmet is good, but also this reduces accuracy. So, I mean, how likely it is to get shot in the head? I guess if you run close, uh, increasingly likely. Anyway, this is gonna take us three days to craft, and also it cost us quite a bit to make. The satellite link is uh, just uh, very slowly happening. Uh, so... Yeah, we need to be very careful here. Okay. So we know about that location. Research complete. 250. Okay. I read to see the was one man's vision, and everything depended on that one man. Before the war, Tobias West had been a billionaire. 
an elusive, controversial businessman who denounced war even as he profited from it. So when a hypocrite. the world fell, his empire began to rise. Some said he was a genius, a man of principle, dedicated to equality and merit, fighting to preserve the core of human freedom, our will. They said he had a plan, that he could lead us to victory. Others called him a dictator, a megalomaniac, fearful of infection and obsessed with purity. They said he was willing to do anything to win, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project needed allies. New Jericho could help us turn the tide, but it all depended on one man. Oh, man. Wait, we see a guy here? Oh! Is it possible that the guy who joined us will uh, betray us? If we betray his faction? Yeah, that is possible, I suppose. So, research. I guess I'm just gonna keep loading it up because I'm not too familiar. I mean, this is a shorter one. We cannot trade with the Havens. So, seems like... Yeah. The scans give us sites to explore. That is quite important. We can get another satellite uplink. Although, <laughs> I probably should do the uh, did the scan earlier. I think this is gonna be quite relevant. Also, we can uh, consider going for attack. We don't have a lot of spare energy, but we can we can do some something here. Medical bay, food. Yeah, I mean, the food production is getting to the point where we might be able to set uh, just. Uh, well, it, it, it's good enough for 8 guys, so that's fine. And also we might need extra food, just to keep buying guys. So I, I feel good about the food production, and although I was a little hesitant to use the satellite, it seems like it's gonna be useful. Research lab. I don't know, it doesn't seem like we need research, like, pronto right now. We might as well get something, right? Okay. So, we're making some progress. Uh, the team is actually quite ready to go, except one guy who doesn't have gear. So, he is going to stay back home at the base, else he's going to die uh, running around with nothing. Uh, with Dick in his hand and nothing else, uh, so that's not gonna work so well. Satellites are kind of going up. We didn't waste too much. I wasted like a day, day or two, kind of two days. All right, let's go. Construction complete. Oh, food production is ready. Let's explore this area. Let's search a site. Our operatives have located an abandoned field hospital. This is an unremittingly depressing place where lives were lost in an unimaginable agony during the days of the second mist. It probably contains useful supplies, but entering it will take a toll on our people. Yeah, let's get it. We lost some stamina, but we got resources. Okay, uh, is there anything else to do here? No, there's no way to explore. There's nothing to do. Okay, fine. So we lost some stamina. I'm not sure if we gotta go back home to deal with that. Let's just keep exploring. Do I have to attack? Oh no, I only have uh, one ship, so... I don't really have like another ship to just fly around and just explore stuff. We cannot trade with the Havens. I'm gonna see a video about that? No. I mean, I guess we can get close and do a have, uh, Haven trade. Oh, very specific trades. Oh, total ripoff, by the way. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, this is a ratio. Okay, I mean... 
obviously, like, this is only uh, worth considering if you have access. It uh, seems like uh, they're giving us a, a bad deal. A good deal? No, that's mine. I give them... Two, and they give me eight? Is that it? Is you, are you sure that's how it goes? I give them five and they give me four. I mean, this sounds like a good deal. But uh, not too, too important right now. Let's keep exploring. Ooh, what? Uh, another haven. We can trade tech for food. It's a two for eight. Is it? Is it correct? Yeah, it is. It is correct. Wait, there's no uh, way to trade more. Oh, whatever. I just wanted to try it, but it is pretty obvious. Residential district. What did we do here? No, we cannot interact with this. We can. Uh, raid their food production, but uh, who cares about that? So, explored. Uh, we're getting got, uh, some stuff for the guy, and uh, that's gonna take a long time, actually. Let's explore. Oh, that's gonna be the max range. Ooh, that's actually qu quite respectful. I mean, look at that. I mean, um, respectful is not really the word. Uh, uh, respectable? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty big. Is that really what we're gonna reach? That's pretty big. Okay, we have another haven here. Um, okay. I mean, this green faction is bloody everywhere, so maybe I should be friends with them. Our operatives report that there is some kind of firefight going on in the old factory with lots of small rocket ordnance going off. That seems like a risky... Oh, that's it. As it turns out, there's no firefight. There's an old firework for factory. Something has disturbed the warehouse and all the stock is exploding. After waiting uh, for the show to end, our operatives move in and salvage what's left. Okay, that's cool. I guess uh, avoiding some fights is gonna be... Part of the gameplay as well. Our operatives have reached uh, Randolph's Symes, the first private retreat. There, where we may be able to find additional information that may help us decipher his notes and make sense of his activities. However, our scans indicate enemy presence in the area. Okay, well, we have a little bit lower stamina, although it seems like it re refilled partially not fully though we lost 10 stamina i think in the in that uh why is that why did we even lose stamina <laughs> i guess because we got the supplies and like the soldiers had to carry them Panic soldiers will act upon their basic instincts and usually running away and then recovering some will points. I mean, that seems pretty reasonable to me. Uh, there's a way to also manually recover will points. So, I mean, as long as the the mission is not, not time sensitive, that should be pretty good. Also, uh, so far, I'm, I didn't really value strength too much, but I think strength is probably... Uh, fairly useful as well. It seems like all the stats are very useful. I mean, it doesn't seem like it. It's it is just a fact HP and carry weight is important uh, Maybe even it affects melee damage strength unclear uh, willpower for the special abilities and we also have speed that's pretty damn important not not as much for the sniper and the heavy although I think later you can just uh, fine-tune them quite a bit Obtain Symes' journal. I'm not sure if this is time sensitive. And this is a pretty small area. We can't hop up, we need to climb up. I'm ready. Okay, we picked inside. Uh, 
Uh, you can change the hotkeys, so I mean, I'm using actually a different key setup uh, because of that. So it's uh, not as awkward. It is pretty awkward to set it up, but fine. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah, let's just go like that open. for now. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, shit. That's not what I expected. What the fuck is that? Oh, man. No! This is as basically as as bad as it gets. Who is this guy? He's a Triton. 40 detection range, accurate, stealthy, has a gun and paralyzes with his arm. Do we know the range of this? I think it has to be melee. He's not super tanky. And his health is just good. He has double perception range. And regenerates HP all the time. Okay. So we can do a dash. Oh man. I'm ready. So we cannot shoot at anybody Amen. effectively. Wait, what? Who that? Oh, this guy. <sighs> Ready to engage. Someone else. Uh, I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea. We can rush in. This looks so bad. Yeah, this is not an easy one to hit as well. Oh my god, I did the same fucking dumb shit again. I ran into the middle of the map. I, I need to not do this. Okay, let's dash... ...to a position... ...over here. I don't think we can hide very well. Ready I need to, to focus on killing. Okay. His head gives him double perception. His arm... Like... Something had 20. Oh, the, the, his gun is 20. I would do a lot of damage here. Next hit points. Can I just... Uh, torso is not the best. His torso is uh, fairly tanky. I guess we can remove either his arm... Leg. It gives him 20 max hit points. Does health, uh, does headshot damage deal more damage? We deal 30 damage six times. It's a bit of a bummer that it doesn't show the ac the, 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 the exact damage. It, it shows 10 to 20. I'm not exactly sure how and why is that a case, but let's just see what we get. We dealt 20 damage. I mean, we can just finish him off, although maybe someone else will. So what I want is just to close in on the guys. Oh, what? Can we do that? No! <sighs> he has a ceiling. Close to him. Plan? We can dash in. I mean, that is not a great spot, but I think, no rest for the considering rest the scenario, this might be the best. I just want a double shot. Maybe on the guy in the back. That's an Artron. They're both Artrons, but this one, although... We're likely to miss a lot. We actually are not gonna hit the shield. 
with this uh, target. Wow, that's excellent. What else we got? Uh, we can deal with those guys. I just, I just want to rush down. Anyone on, on, uh, I don't know how to refer to it. The bottom left corner of the map. <laughs> uh, well, we can get a little closer. There's not much we can do. I can throw in a grenade. Moving out. Preparing to fire. Yeah, that's most likely going to be a miss. Uh, his shield doesn't matter. But that's still... Like, that's like a 35 to 40% chance to hit him. I mean, this is a, an option. Channel open. What we got here? I mean, this is not a great shot either. Oh man, these shots are garbage. Just taking out these guys would be huge. What's our plan? Um. Ready to fire. It's not completely hopeless. So maybe we can hit like that. Hit him in the leg. Let's do it like this. Oh no. His shield tanked it. Okay, that works. No. Is this a good angle? It's not a terrible angle. Here. This is the closest target. Can barely see him. Let, let's go for a shot. Ah, uh, grenade would have been safer actually. But uh, we got a little lucky here. Uh, we can just go for a shot. Mm, this is not, not a great shot. Wow. Never mind that. So, sniper shots. <laughs> huh. That's not a great angle. He's gonna come in and probably shoot at the heavy. That's fine. I mean, we can aim maybe like this and hope for a decent shot. We might shoot him in the arm. Ah, oh, that's the worst. Uh, I guess we might just get out the pistol and go for an overwatch. Let's try to pin him down. Wait, we have a movement. No, we don't. Uh, just, just stand by. And turn. It doesn't care. But... His leg is injured. Oh, turn ended. Hmm... This tankiness doesn't matter too much when it comes to the heavy. We can just get as close as possible and go for a hit. Yeah, let's just get as close as possible, although we can't right move there. too much right now. Oh shit, another one? Preparing to fire. I'm still kinda committed to it. I'm ready. So from here. There's no way to shoot at him from here. What if he throw a grenade? Let's see now. Would this affect him? Apparently it might. This way we can go do a double action. Oh no, that's not great. We can shoot at one guy. Oh my. What about you? He doesn't have a great angle. Can we somehow get angle on the guy in the back? It, it, yeah. So, we can do a dash again. Uh, 
And this uh, gives us... Ready to fire. We probably should have considered uh, a dash that gets us closer. Oh, snow. That's so bad. Can you make a shot Aiming. of the guy in the back? Um, I mean, this should be decent. If he get the hit, he's dead. No! <laughs> yeah, this looks bad. We are officially fucked now. We can't do anything with him. Uh, I guess the best option maybe is just to get close. I can go for a terrible shot. Fire weapon. Do we have a, a line of sight on? I have a feeling that this guy in the back, Mr. Tentacle... Let's see what they can do. So he can do... A shotgun that deals 40 damage. That's actually kind of expected too much. Uh, more than that. 40 damage with uh, two action points. And only, apparently, wait, burst of 10? No, that's 400 damage. 400 damage shotgun. Uh, that's actually a 6 effective range shotgun. If this shotgun fires, someone dies. Guaranteed. How do I take him out? Apparently, over there, I can start shooting, but it would not work. Yeah. The shotgun guy needs to die. I can still dash, but I don't have... <sighs> wow, this is bad. So we have four action points with him. He needs to die. Although, this guy who's close to us is super dangerous as well, I'm pretty sure. He has a pincer arm that deals 65 damage for one action point. And uh, just a shield that tanks. Taking out the pincer arm would make him uh, useless, technically. Okay, we can throw in a grenade and possibly even bust down. Wait, can we just destroy his shotgun? If I get close to his shotgun, his... We don't know the... The armor of his shotgun, but he also has paralyzing arm. I don't know. This looks uh, very tricky. Can we even... Okay, we, we see his shotgun. Let's get close to him. Moving to position. Enemy spotted who? Oh yeah, we know about that guy. But he's close ranged. So can we make a shot here? On the shotgun? Can we take out the shotgun? The Iconoclast shotgun? Actually has 120 health, so the assault rifle cannot take it out. But this door opening Channel animation open. might actually give us uh, a line of sight with the sniper. Obviously we are trying to go for a kill here. We are trying to destroy something. Double perception. But hitting him, hitting him the torso... Actually, well, would deal less damage. Oh, willpower 12. Doesn't that make him instantly uh, downed? Let's do a pistol shot as well. Wait, what? Let's go for a pistol shot. Uh, we can just go on his head. That's a kill. Okay, opening that door was huge. Here. Have you really fucked up? Wow. I'm kind of tempted to dash in. 
We can't kill this guy, but he's, he's damn scary. He needs to die. But how do we kill him? I have... No action points. Ready to fire. Okay. Do we have any more movement left? Apparently we do. Uh, quite a lot. But if we go over there, we're gonna be super fucked. We can't see uh, this uh, Artron up close. These are melee. So, we somehow gotta take out this guy in four action points. We can see him from here. Okay, maybe make a dash. We can also use the grenade, I suppose. <clears throat> Ready to engage. This is not a great shot. But the grenade will not kill him. We can shoot him in the leg. Oh man, this is not good. But this is the best I got. Actually, this seems a little better. Just shoot him in the arm. Also doesn't have any armor. Let's try it like that. Okay, seems like the grenade will take him out. So, let's go for a guaranteed kill, hopefully. And, uh... I don't know, get the hell back. Okay! I like this. I Well, I still have some dashes left. Now, I guess I could have used the dash. Let's enter. I was recovering some veil power. So we're dealing with melee enemies. We can switch back to sniper. I'm ready. Heavy guy should be damn careful Sleeping. here. Loud and clear. We know about that guy hiding in the corner. We have no line of sight on him. Again, just knowing about his gear, we know that he can tank, he can move unknown amount of uh, squares. He's showing me his shield. Uh, we can just go over here. Let's do this. I'm not dashing right now. Oh, okay. New enemy spotted. Not the best angle. Let's get closer. <clears throat> it's not a terrible shot, but it's pretty much a terrible shot. This table is annoying. What if we just angle ourselves a little bit? Acquiring target. I mean, it's a little bit bad. Actually, this might be okay. Sure. What's our move? Uh, heavy guy, I don't know. I think your move should be is that you get a little move. closer. And if they try to close in, you just take him out. That's it. I'm ready. And everybody else just comes a little closer and tries to make uh, some good shots on them. Mm, yeah, just fire the weapon. I mean, like that, maybe. Target what is down. that? Uh, we cannot get into range, really. Okay, let's just set up an overwatch, so in case he rushes in, we're gonna be fine. Oh shit. Nice. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So we got a spotter here, but that's probably not gonna be relevant. Uh, do we know about her perception stats? Perception 45. So Check can spot bit. people from 45 square away, 40 squares. That seems like uh, enough. I, I just assume that it's 45, I mean 35 squares. I mean, he's pretty bad at spotting. 30 squares, I, I think it's 30. I don't know. 
So what do we do? Do I need to hide? I see them. Enemy spotted. It's another melee guy. I think this should be do uh, very doable. We actually have line of sight on him from over here. So let's just go for a regular shot. Ooh, that's... Huh. I mean, we can just get closer and do overwatches. Uh, just to make sure that we're not uh, fucking up the line of sight here. I'll keep my eyes open. I'm on overwatch. Okay. I mean, you can just come over. Try to get an angle on him. Uh, yeah, sometimes you can shoot through things. Uh, this time, not so much. Let's do this. Just get closer. And that is not a terrible shot. And we are fine. Look at that! A team or what? Are we good? Oh, we need to get the journal still. Where the fuck is the journal? Ooh, okay. I mean, we can just rush up, I mean... If we see someone, then the character will just stop. Although, let's be a little sensible. Keep in mind, they are melee, and they are ridiculously powerful in melee. I mean, I don't think we need a demonstration. I, I think I can imagine how... Uh, if, the, funnily enough, I actually saw this in the tutorial. I can imagine how getting hit uh, four times for 65 feels like. <laughs> That's a kill. Can we just uh, defend here? Oh no, we can't. What's our move? Uh, where is it though? It's gotta be on the... Okay, enter. I, I kinda assume that we're just gonna get it automatically if we kill ev everyone. But did we kill everyone? Not sure. Moving out. Where is the journal? Oh. I don't think that that is it. Is that it? I don't really want to spread them out, but Wait, what? Oh. What's our plan? Here. I'm I'm blocking. Oh, no, no, no. That's over here. Okay, we're going up. Everybody going up. Receiving loud and clear. Uh, if there are no enemies nearby, then I clearly don't like that uh, the Switching game is just uh, not well. The mission is not over. However, if there are enemies nearby, we need to be damn careful. So this time, speed. this time we're playing it safe. We don't know if there are enemies nearby. I'm just gonna assume that uh, there are fast. some guys we need to look out for. So let's wait. Everybody, stand by. Actually, just enter. Moving now. We don't know about anybody. Okay, I mean, th this seems like it. Is this it? Okay. I mean, I, I suppose you, you can just get the objective without killing everyone. And that's fine. Special mission! Woo! Uh, two level ups. All level threes. And we got three extra skill points. <laughs> cool. Okay, pretty good. Explore areas covered by the mist to make contact with any havens there and protect them if you can. 
Okay. Our operatives have retrieved a big batch of documents from uh, the Symes retreat. These should allow us to better understand what Symes was doing and what he discovered. Uh, let's analyze that. We have identified three key sites that Symes singled out as particularly relevant to his research into the history of the Phoenix Project and previous outbreaks of unusual diseases. It is impressive, impressive that we send operatives to investigate these sites as soon as... Uh, Imperative that we send operative to in to investigate these sites as soon as uh, the strategic situation allows. So free sites, and we got some uh, stuff. As the world fell apart around us, it was difficult not to feel guilty. Some chose to be proactive and fight, but not me. I came here instead. My best weapon is my mind and I need silence to put it to work. The history of the Phoenix Project is a complex tapestry. In Russia, Turkey, Britain, Spain, not one unbroken lineage, but a tangle of organizations, each passing the torch to the next with only one goal, to protect the human race. But protected from what? Did they know about the Pandora virus? And if so, how? The answers are out there. So much has been investigated and collected and analyzed, but it's all scattered, lost. I don't know if it's possible to track it all down, but I have to try. There's only one thing I'm sure of. I can't stay here anymore. Sure. Okay, we can get these. Or the Oh yeah, it takes time to uh, craft it. Okay, then. So, wow, we need to go back to base just to heal a little bit. I guess we only have one base. Not much we can do. To so explore this site, there's nothing to do here. No areas can to do. We can do that. We have new research. Reverse engineer the Hephaestus two pistol and try to an autopsy. Let's do that. Keeping busy. Uh, we, by the way, we can make vehicles as well. We can make a manticore. Seems nice. We can also make a scarab. A vehicle for the guys. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but... I mean, it could be pretty good. <laughs> Scrap item? No. We're still making the armor for the guy. Ooh, actually armor is not the only thing we're gonna need, but a gun. I didn't even add that. So that's gonna take us like a day to make again. <laughs> wow. Anyway, uh, I guess we're heading back to the base. Oh shit! But I'm a little tired now. Should we really go on a mission also? Uh, we can level up. We, we don't have ammo? Holy crap. I mean, definitely get enough ammo. I mean, not, not like that, but... At least you should have your gun loaded. Oh my god. We have a... A partial clip. Planned for the mission. That's not a good idea. So we got 50 XP. All attacks that damage a target also inflict one viral per bullet. I don't know if you need that. Especially because many times I just go for kill shots. The action point cost of the next shot with a proficient weapon is reduced by 1. And the accuracy is increased by 25. This must be something that you use with willpower, right? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Reduced by 1, and the accuracy is increased by 25. That seems really good. So it means we can double fire the sniper. I'm a little hesitant to go for anything, but... It's gotta be a willpower ability. Although, I, I'm not sure if I wanna go for willpower. We can just keep the XP. And uh, reevaluate what we need it on. One minus one speed. 
So we are at 13 speed. If I up the speed by 3 times, by 3, then we would be at 16. Uh, nah, I think 13 is fine. For now, willpower, I'm a little tempted to pump it, if this is a good ability. But we gotta see that first, because like this I can't make a decision. Gain mounted weapon proficiency with 20% range and damage. We don't have mounted weapons. Uh, I do have heavy weapons, but... Uh, and the dash would actually make the heavy weapon quite useful. So, Strongman is pretty good, and because of that, I think we can consider... Making a heavy weapon, giving away Fred's assault rifle to the new guy, and Fred is going to use a heavy weapon. Although I feel like the assault rifle is more versatile, and we might want to use both eventually. 50% bonus grenade range and 2 speed. I mean, this just seems like a total no brainer. So. We're gonna use a lot of grenades with Fred. And return fire. I don't think this is something we need. Keep in mind, we have 16 speed. Okay. So Fred has 14 speed, plus 2 bonus, plus 2 bon 1 1 bonus because of the armor. So going to 20 actually gives us. Uh, Going to 16 gives us 20 speed, which is quite nice. And we can still go for the return fire, kind of. We have two dashes. And I guess strength is fine. Let's go for a bit of return fire. And that's it for now. Yeah, I'm just holding on to the SP just until we can uh, make sure that... Uh, not only, well, it's pretty clear that we're gonna need some willpower for this, but it's also important by how much. You know, is it like 3 points, is it 4 points? So, I mean, that kind of affects how much willpower I'm going for here. Also, keep in mind, the, because of the sniperist, our willpower is just 4, which is pretty bad. So, I don't, I don't know if sniperist is actually worth it. So, for a sniper that already has sniper proficiency. Uh, it, it's worth it in the long run. It depends on the length of the mission, obviously. I mean, if we just go for go for like 7 or 8 turn mission, Sniper is just clearly comes out as a winner. But like, if it's like a short mission, if it's all about just quick aiming, I guess uh, quick aim is just better. Like if it's like a 3 turn mission, maybe uh, quick aim is better. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, that's fine for now. What we need? We're lacking equipment. Oh yeah, the Fred. Holy shit, you need some grenades. Make more grenades. Can we like mass produce grenades? Oh, that's not what I want. Kind of what I want though. Oh man. Grenades, make some grenades. The reason why... <laughs> I mean, I'm less bothered by the the cost of the grenade. I'm more bothered by the, the the build time. Oh my god. We need we need grenades on the guy who's really good with grenades. So I mean maybe he will not use that. We're just gonna have the yeah like these prepared. Eric not not too keen on grenades. Fred now Fred loves the grenades by a lot. And that's fine. Oh, really? We're not even taking a full clip? Oh, no. Well. I mean... I have to press ammo. Okay, fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, pretty hardcore game. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. We are, we are missing some stamina, but I think that's, that's gonna be fine. So, if we can uh, defend these guys, they're gonna be in our... Well, they're gonna owe us big time, frankly. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.